Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the second part of our Let's Build series where we are building a bakery. Last part, this is how far we got. It's in Magnolia Promenade. We have a good chunk of the outdoors done. Pretty much nothing inside though. And you guys left a ton of feedback from anything to window choices to who should live upstairs. So we're gonna dive right on into that feedback and continue this build. It seems a lot of you guys agreed that there is too much blue going on on this build, particularly the upstairs windows. So we're gonna change those to black. I also saw some people really not liking these pieces I have above the windows. I kind of like them, but we're gonna try something else instead because I do see in a lot of reference pictures of various um, bakery is having this sort of thing below it instead of having flower boxes. So let's see which ones we have and if any of these might work nicely. Ooh, this one from Realm of Magic. We could bring in some more of that black color. I'm gonna try that. Let's get rid of some flower boxes. Maybe have those on the sides and then just have the flower boxes in the front. I'm not sure. We also mentioned that those palm trees were too big and didn't really fit the area. Some people think that we should have these palm trees. Some people had mentioned, you know, no palm trees, but this area has a lot of them. So I think we are gonna end up with palm trees in the end, uh, but we will get to that. I do want to switch these columns out for white ones first though. Actually for the windows, do I prefer the Realm of Magic one or this one from base game? I kind of like the rounded one because it still gives that round look I was going for with the over the window part. I think that matches a little bit better actually. Let me try these over here. I am sizing them down because they're a little bit big, but I think that looks kind of nice. I feel like the center area here is missing something. Maybe we could add some more greenery going up this wall. It's an idea just so it doesn't look so bland up there. I think that could help. There was also quite a bit of discussion on the colors for this build. I really like the base color down here, the blue, but maybe it doesn't work because the rest of the wall is so dark, which is a little sad because I like how bright blue it is, uh, but we can figure that out. I know I had gotten a bunch of suggestions that this whole place should be a little bit more light because that's how you guys associate bakeries. And I have to agree on that. Although I have seen some in my area that are pretty much black on the outside, but they're like this shape. So I guess it really depends on where you're from and what bakeries you've been to, but I do kind of feel like this one would have more of a light and airy feel to it. So I'm gonna filter by blue again and see if we have anything else that's lighter that has a similar color that we're looking for. I have a feeling I'm not going to find it, but I'm gonna try. We have this Simply Stucco, which I think is actually really pretty. I kind of like that. Um, but I think maybe I would change the top bricks to a darker color. I had gotten some suggestions to make it darker up top and lighter on bottom anyway, potentially going back to some of the bricks we originally were using from Realm of Magic. I think it was these ones. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Huh. I think a red brick is probably too much. But at the same time, the light brick, I feel like there's not enough contrast. But I really like the blue on the bottom. Hopefully you guys like that too, because I really like it. And I'd like to keep it there. So hopefully. Uh, can I get away with adding these on these windows as well? I can't see the bottoms of them, but I think it works. Maybe. Potentially. I have no idea. Um, but if I can move this over a little bit get some of this to be slightly more centered. Maybe this brick, it's still white, but it has a little bit more contrast to it, I feel. That could potentially work. Huh, I'm not against it. Just gonna go ahead and replace all of the planter boxes on the back with these little, I don't even know what these are called, curved iron balconies. I've always been like the fake balconies, but I didn't know that's actually what they were supposed to be. I think with that, we might change this roof to be more of a black to tie in the black windows. I'm also gonna get rid of these tables and chairs. Um, a couple of you guys suggested there was ones from Get Together that had striped umbrellas. And I think I know what you're talking about. Um, let's 
Let's see if I can just spot them in here. Uh, well, there's this one from Beast Game. Oh, these ones. Okay, yes, I like this. Do I want the black or the blue? Ooh, gray. Um, I think the black one might stand out a little bit better. I think we're gonna go with that. Just place these on either side and get some chairs for these. Oh, was there matching chairs that came with them? I wonder. I think these were the ones that came with it and they definitely have a like a bakery feel to them. So thank you for the suggestion. Maybe rotate these a little bit so not everything is so perfectly aligned right to left. This is outside. People are coming here and just throwing chairs around. I also think we should add some benches by the front door. I had gotten that suggestion and I really liked that. So you can go ahead and wait outside for whoever's running in. Maybe something like that. I don't know if I want one on each side or just one. Uh, Cause I also kind of want to keep this cupcake sign. Cupcake, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> this cupcake sign outside. Uh, maybe it could still stay there. This is something I feel like would look decent symmetrical, but at the same time, I'm not 100% sold on it. I think I like those benches because I don't want everything to be too crazy matchy matchy. Maybe this can come out of the planter like that. There was also some discussion on having more windows down here. And I like the round ones, but if I put more than one, they're not going to center in this space. But it's being covered by the vines anyway, so maybe that's okay. Um, but I also had like conflicting opinions on using the round ones versus the rectangle ones that we were looking at originally, which were these ones. So let me let me try this out um, because that covers a little bit less space, correct? Or a little bit more than if we just had one of the round pieces. But once again, it doesn't center in the wall and I feel like you'd probably want it closer to the front, but then our vines are in the way and it just doesn't center. So I'm still pretty conflicted on that idea. I'm not sure what our solution is gonna be. I suppose I could have three going this way and it doesn't center, but I can have things covering it on either side. So this side would be the vines and we can cover it with something else on the other side. At least I think that's what I'm gonna try for now when you guys can let me know if you think it works or if we should give something else a go or go back to the single round windows before. But I do agree that it's nice to have a lot of window space looking into a bakery. Uh, we can have lots of things in the windows some pretty cakes and all that kind of stuff. And then you can also just see the environment you're entering into. So I think we're gonna we're gonna give that a go. On second thought, I don't know if we even need to hang something on this wall over here. Maybe it's not necessary. Also, maybe this planter down here shouldn't be a black color. Maybe it should be either the white or the white and the uh, more gray color. It's, it's not quite gray, it's like a gray brown that would match these benches. I think I'm gonna line this area with this item from Debug. I really don't even know what this is supposed to be. I've been using it for years now. Uh, I think a bunch of us have, but I don't know what the item is supposed to be. I wonder if the Sim Gurus will ever be able to tell us that because it's just like this weird little box. It works pretty well though for lining flower beds and stuff and builds, and I think it should be pretty good for this. The reason I would use this instead of like a little fence is that you can't get to the edge of the lot with a fence. It would stop right here. So maybe something like this on all the flower beds would look pretty good. I think that frames it out fairly nicely. Should I do it across the edge too though? I'm kind of thinking yes. Um, let's see. Can I get that to fit in there properly? Yeah, I think I can put it across there. Let's see how that looks before I do it on all of them. But uh, I think this will look nice and structured like I'm going for. I am scaling these up once each time because they're this small. So scale that up with the uh, closed bracket key. I have to think about which one's the closed and which one's the open, but I think it works. Yeah, that closes that off pretty nicely and that'll be where the palm tree is. I think for now I'm just going to frame out these two front portions. These back ones maybe we can fill with more bushes and stuff. I feel like it would look a little weird to have this framing around this tree that barely fits in this space anyway. And uh, maybe that tree will eventually go away as well. I haven't really decided. I think one of the things that's bothering me about this is the top and bottom levels look the same size even though the bottom level is medium wall height and the top is short. And I think that's because the wall trim up here we have 
or the half walls we have up here are so tall. So let's try the shorter version and see if that helps a little bit. I think it does. I'm not sure, but I think it does. I'm gonna add one of these up here. I think that's a pretty realistic thing to have on the roof of a building. Maybe paint the roof as well. So I think we're gonna place these palm trees back in here. There's a separate item from Debug that is the lights that go on them. So if I place that on, actually, how does that look at night? Interesting. <laughs> I don't love it, but it does match the rest of the area. So I think I might do that, but we might get rid of the lights in the end anyway. I don't think I like them. They do glow a little bit and they match the other area, but they look kind of silly. I do like the idea of having the lights though. It's just, I don't think it's executed very well. So I think we're gonna go without them for the time being. I kind of want to switch the tree out over here with something that's like wider and shorter maybe. Something like this could be really pretty. The like white flowers. I like that. Uh, does that go through the walls at all? No. It does obstruct this umbrella, but we can kind of make these a little bit more staggered, which I think looks a little bit more realistic anyway. So this one in the front comes a little bit forward, and then this one goes off like that. Yeah. Also, this comes in other swatches. We have like the green with the white flowers, which is quite pretty. I mean, we could even keep the tree we had and just have two trees in this space. I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like having a tall tree next to it would be a good idea. That might look nice, but I don't know which one, how to make it look good. Hmm, maybe I actually want some more of this space to be open like this. We don't necessarily need to have all of it be this uh, brickwork. I know last part I said it should be because it's all coated in this area. We're in like a, a business space, so it makes sense that it's not all grass, but we, we can work around it, I think. Get a little bit more greenery going. Could even just be more palm trees back here to really tie in that look. Not completely against that idea. I might even just have the palm trees off to the side like that and make the trees over here not palm trees. Maybe even bushes like that. Or it, maybe it doesn't even have to be tall bushes. It could be short bushes. Or these really pretty ones that came with uh, Island Living could work. They're kind of massive, a little bit silly, but I also sort of like them. <laughs> I'm very conflicted on what I want these planter spaces to be. I think they're cute though. It might be a little bit less distracting to have like bushes like this. I know these are massive, but I could also try sizing them down. Hmm, I kinda like it big, but it also looks nice small. I'm really not sure, I'm so conflicted. This is what builds are like for me. I'm like, hmm, and I stare at it for too long. So it's really awesome that you guys are here to give this feedback right now. For the moment, I am gonna keep the bushes and I'm gonna make them small. And then the rest is filled in with this little lying plant. That's what we're going with for the moment, uh, but we can always change that back based on whatever feedback you guys give and uh, we think would be the best option. Maybe get some more palm trees out back so that the back area of the building doesn't seem so empty because you like look over and there's like nothing over here. Maybe having a palm tree over there and maybe even another taller tree. Potentially the one that we took away from this side before could look good. Let's try that. Just place this right over here. I think it's too light of a green. I wish it was like a darker green like that. Yeah, maybe something like that. The one from Cats and Dogs. I like that. An overwhelming amount of you guys said we should delete this roof and make this a balcony for the apartment upstairs. And I love that idea. I think that is fantastic. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but thank you guys so much for that comment. I don't know what sort of fencing I want. I feel like the the Realm of Magic one is too fancy, but it also kind of fits the vibe. But I think it's too tall, so I'm not gonna go with that one. This one provides more privacy, but it's also very, very tall. Oh goodness, it's gonna this is gonna take some thought. I don't know, I kind of like that one. There's also this one from Strangerville, or even just this base game one. It does have the black and the white, which matches quite nicely. And I think for right now, I'm gonna keep that, but I'm not sure long run if I will. Maybe I'll get some more ivy growing up right there. I think that looks cute. Definitely gonna need a door onto the balcony. Something that matches the vibe that the upstairs has. The 
windows are from Discovery University. So maybe there's something from that pack that will match. <laughs> maybe not. I don't think that quite matches what I was going for. It is nice though. Maybe the white version. I mean, I don't hate it. But honestly, that's not saying a whole lot. This looks like more like a front door, but it's also quite nice. This one doesn't center, but it also has the look I'm going for, and it doesn't have the little mail slot, which doesn't quite make sense for this door. It's also this one, which also doesn't center, but it looks nice. We have that there, have another one of these windows. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm putting there for the moment. I think a little bit of a worn down wood floor out here would look nice. I kind of like the gray one. I think it matches pretty well. But at the same time, it might be realistic to have more of this color. But I think for right now, I'm going to have the gray. All right, moving to the inside, I guess I should show you sort of what I'm thinking for a layout. So what I was thinking is something along the lines of kind of a framed space like so where customers can come in this front door, but they can't get to this back space. So that would probably be blocked off as a kitchen area. And then the people working would be behind here. We'll probably have a little fence or something over here, not a fence, but like a gate. And then maybe have some tables out here. I like this version too, it's a little dated. So I'm not really sure which one I prefer, the more dated look or the more updated look. Cause we could go either way with the inside of this bakery. Or maybe these are the newer ones and this is the old one and they keep it right there as the like day old stuff that's a little bit cheaper. That's an idea. One of the things I really wanna get in here though is the cupcake machine and I'm very nervous about how big it is. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay, yeah, it, it's kind of massive, but we're gonna make it work somehow. I might have to extend this out and then make the balcony upstairs bigger as well. Cause I feel like in this place, we need a cupcake machine. I've, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever used this item, but we're gonna use it today. And we're gonna make it work. That's a nice size balcony. Okay. That's gonna be the kitchen space with our cupcake machine. I might even put it on this wall instead. Yeah, so let's get a door into there. Might even just do an archway. That's kind of fun. Easy for the uh, employees to get back there. Placing a couple of these around might look nice as well. I don't know if it'll be too repetitive, but I think maybe two of those right there would look nice. And I definitely want something right here. So these look like they're connected a little bit more. I mean, that something might just be a counter piece. That could work. Um, I did have suggestions to use some uh, Parenthood countertops because they are blue like this. And I do really like that idea. So I might try that for some of this back area. I do intend the kitchen to be functional, but I also want some of the space to have like prep work area. I think it could look nice having these counters around with areas that you can go ahead and prep some stuff, do some regular baking. Maybe this will just be like the cupcake factory room, the cupcake machine room. I'm not really sure. We can figure that out as we go, but I kind of like the idea of having some of these some of these counters back here. Can even add some of the cabinets. I think this is a really good piece to have. Honestly, we could even scale this down and raise it up and kind of combine it in here somewhere. Maybe have an espresso machine back there. Or alternatively, in addition to having this bakery space, we could add the like cafe area that came with get together. Like we could somehow manage to add this in. That could be over here. Because it also has pastries in it. So it still kind of fits. I think I like that idea. So you can also get some drinks and get your pastries. And then we can change the color of this independently. Um, I think for right now the white would work. Yeah, this is definitely the sort of thing I was thinking. I might swap this out for a corner counter so that wraps around nicely. That could be an end. And maybe I'll put something different here. Maybe a mini fridge. <laughs> it's gonna look dumb. You're gonna be able to see the back of it, yeah. I wouldn't mind having a mini fridge there though, cause it would make sense. Probably move these forward a little bit so you can't see over so much. 
that that's actually a pretty good solution i think because i could imagine you know certain things are in here and you have to refrigerate certain other things that go with these pastries so you grab it out of that that makes sense not having a full-size fridge out in the open we'll probably have a fridge back here somewhere but yeah i quite like that i think i want to use the giant parenthood sinks back here maybe even two of them yeah yeah that's good maybe another one of these over here a little bit more of cabin in a tree I don't know if I want to go with a wood in here or a tile, a stone. There's so many options. That's a little too much. Um, I'm not sure if I want like a really worn floor like this, like we have outstairs, outstairs, outside upstairs or not. But it also could make sense because maybe the floor wasn't fixed or replaced over time, but some of the other things were. But then do I want the light colored or do I want a more dark wood floor in here? Not entirely sure, but I do want to put tiles behind this space because it's the working area. Not something this bright, but at the same time, I kind of like how tacky that looks. Ooh, it's so tempting because, you know, the customers aren't really going to see the floor from there. So that's kind of fun. It's sort of ugly, but I also kind of love it. Ooh, let me know what you guys think of it. I, I'm pretty sure you're all going to say, don't do it. It's hideous. But at the same time... I kind of love it. Ooh. Plus it brings in the blue. Yeah, that's that's a good touch, I think. Maybe I'll just add a little fence over here. This could be how the swingy door that the employees use to get in and out of that space. I'm not really sure what color to paint the walls, but I like the idea of having one accent wall that is the same color as the outside. It would be a good way to display the logo inside, I think. Should it be all the way up there? I think so. I really like that. I think the other walls are gonna be much more neutral than this one though. There might even be something as simple as this white blocking on that wall, or at least in the kitchen space, it could be like that, because this is behind the counter. So maybe the rest of the walls have paint on them, like something fairly simple. I could see something like that being nice. Keep it really, really neutral. I think we're gonna end up setting up some tables in the windows to show off some baked goods. Uh, we'll see if this bathroom works or not. And then this door, I know a lot of people said, make it more private. It's behind the counter, so only people that are working here can get the door. And I'm assuming that the person that lives upstairs is going to lock it. Uh, but let me see if we can get the, uh, the stalls to fit in here or not. I don't think we're going to be able to. They're kind of annoying because they clip to the walls. And then it, yeah, I can't get it to clip to the one I want it to. Oh, also... This window goes into the bathroom. That's a problem. All right. We're going to have to rethink the bathroom situation. Unless this side doesn't have three windows. Which I guess is possible. Let's go back. Delete this window. Just move that over. And maybe we can just have something growing up the side there. Or maybe you just don't notice that that side doesn't have it. Uh, yeah, let's try some more of these vines i like this one the best because it has like the splintering vines at the top whereas the other ones are a little bit more blocky but i think this one could get repetitive really easily so i'm gonna try different ones i'm not sold on it yet uh or even just a bush uh where's that really tall one this one if we get rid of some of this pavement and have like a really tall thing growing right there that could distract I think that works. It's coming together. There's a lot of things that are in shambles right now. <laughs> like, I'm not exactly sure what we're doing with all this landscaping space. There's just, it, it's a little bit of a mess, but I think we've made a lot of progress. The downstairs has a sort of idea to it now. I didn't add the door back, uh, but I showed you guys kind of what I was thinking for a layout down here. All right, the door's back. And I think this will still be the main kitchen space or at least the things that wouldn't look nice out here like the cupcake machine, maybe a stove or a fridge or a couple of those things. Some of them can be out in this space. We'll add some tables and chairs out here, some just knickknacks around the place, a sign up here for the day old stuff, some displays in the windows. I think there's a lot we could add in here and I'm excited about it. And then upstairs is still gonna be an apartment. I think we'll work on that in addition to making changes based on the feedback I get in next part. 
and I'm going to try and make next part the final part. So um, we're going to try and squeeze this into three parts, but this is coming along so nicely. But you guys had left a lot of suggestions on the family or Sims you thought would live here, how many apartments, what we should do with upstairs. And I really liked the idea of this being a multi-generational family, like maybe this place was owned by the grandparents originally and it's gone through the generations. So I'm going to come up with a full concept of what those Sims are going to be, if it's going to be grandparents and their kids and their grandkids, but like what combination and uh, we'll figure out how to make that work in this space. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Please let me know what you guys think down below. Any suggestions you have to continue building this bakery and make it get the best it can be. Thank you guys so much for your support on this series and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.